Hi, so today I'm going to talk about incorrectness logic and cleaning all the rows top and test. So let's first recap on horror logic. So horror lo in horror logic, post condition specifies the correctness condition. Uh, a horror triple, BPC, is true when you execute the program P on the precondition B, and all the possible outputs needs to be correct, that is, lands in the post condition C. On the contrary, uh, incorrectness logic is a logic that seeks to verify counterexamples. Um, so a whole incorrectness logic, BPC, is true uh, when all of the undesirable uh, state in the post condition C is reachable. Hence, uh, the post condition C needs to be contained within all the possible outputs. As we can see, there is a strong symmetry between horror logic and incorrectness logic. As horror logic post condition contains all the possible outputs, and incorrectness logic uh, post condition is contained by the possible outputs. However, besides these uh, deductive reasoning tools like uh, horror logic and incorrectness logic, there are also equational reasoning tools. One of them is called cleaning algebra with tests. And uh, here is a very brief in introduction on what cleaning algebra with tests is. I think the easiest way to think of cleaning algebra with tests is to think of the elements as programs. Uh, and in cleaning algebra with tests, programs are modeled using relations. Uh, for example, here it's a relational diagram of x equals to x plus one. And traditionally, in horror logic and incorrectness logic, uh, the conditions are specified using set of memories. Uh, cleaning algebra with tests use test to represent these conditions. For example, here is um, it's a condition odd x. It will filter out all the memory that doesn't satisfy odd x and only keeping the ones that does. For example, here, uh, odd x will only keep the memory x equals to one, x equals to three, and so on. Why it's, uh, the advantage of modeling condition in this way is that it can be composed with program. For example, here we have uh, odd x composed with x equals to x plus one. Uh, first, odd x will filter out all the memory that doesn't satisfy odd x and then execute x equals to x plus one to all the memory that satisfies all the x. This composition exactly represents running the program x equals to x plus one uh, on the condition odd x in whole logic or incorrectness logic. Uh, so we have seen uh, the, the definition running program p on precondition b can be simplified to simply composing PB in the context of cleaning algebra with test. And Cosen noticed that uh, this uh, cleaning algebra with test can indeed encode the whole logic. Uh, the encoding is as follows. Uh, if, we run, uh, if we start with a filter B and then run the program P on this filter, and then whether we filter the output by C will have no effect, because the post condition C already contains all the possible outputs of uh, B after P. And this equivalence, BP equals to BPC, exactly corresponds to the validity of the whole logic triple, BPC. Given that uh, clean algebra with tests can encode whole logic, uh, Cosen also showed that the equational theory of a clean algebra with tests subsumes all the proof rules of horror logic. And because incorrectness logic are very similar to horror logic, it is natural to wonder if we can encode the incorrectness logic in clean algebra with tests. A uh, similar discussion has already happened in uh, uh, Peter O'Hearn's original paper, Incorrectness Logic, on Popo. However, we have shown that incorrectness triple cannot be encoded in clean algebra with tests. Here is a sketch of the impossibility proof. In order to show that cat can, in order to say cat can express incorrectness logic, we need two terms, BP and BPC, such that their equivalence is exactly equivalent to the validity of the incorrectness triple BPC. Then we assume cat can express incorrectness logic, therefore we, there should exist two terms, 
T and T prime such that their equivalence is exactly equivalent to the validity of the incorrectness triple BPC. Okay, so let's go through some examples. Here is the first uh, possible assignment of BPC. So let's just let uh, B be a condition on the first element. Uh, P be the program that takes the first element to the second element, and C be the condition on the second element. In this case, BPC is true uh, because everything in C can be reached by B if we uh, reached by P if we start with B. In this case, T should be equal to T prime. On the other hand, let's look at another assignment uh, where B is also conditioned on the first element, P is an empty program, uh, C is also conditioned on the second element. You can think of the program P as a program that never terminates, uh, no matter what input we throw at it, it never produces an output. And because P never produces an output, uh, the second element in C can never be reached. Therefore, the incorrectness logic BPC is not true. In this case, T shouldn't be equal to T prime. So let's focus on the second assignment first. We notice in this assignment, we don't have anything that can mutate the input. We don't have anything take the second, uh, second memory to the first memory, or we don't have anything take the first memory to the second memory. Therefore, uh, in T or T prime should also be not be able to mutate the input. Hence, all the elements of T and T prime should be of the form XX, where X is either the first memory or the second memory. And because T does not equal to T prime, uh, it's safe to assume, assume there exists uh, XX in T, but XX is not in T prime. Okay? Then we focus on the difference of uh, these two assignments. We notice that uh, in all of these assignments, the first assignment is strict, uh, it's larger than the second assignment. In here, B, uh, assignment, B in the first assignment equals to B in the second assignment. Uh, P in the first assignment is larger than P in the second assignment. C in the first assignment is, lar uh, is equal to C in the second assignment. Therefore, uh, T, should, uh, T in the first assignment should also be larger than T in the second assignment. Uh, and because XX is in T of the second assignment, XX should also be in T of the first assignment. And because T equals to T prime in the first assignment, uh, we get XX also be, needs to be equal, um, XX also needs to be in T prime in the first assignment. And here, it's where we derive the contradiction. Because XX is not in T prime of the second assignment, but XX is in T prime of the first assignment, uh, and we know the only difference between the second assignment and the first assignment is P. And P only takes the first element to the second element. Therefore, no matter how you compose P with, each other, with other um, assignment here, there's no way to obtain a new element of the form XX because P always mutates the input memory. Therefore, we have a contradiction. And given the result that incorrectness triple cannot encode cleaning algebra with tests, it's, it's necessary to add some construct in cleaning algebra with tests. And to see the necessary construct, it's important to recap the definition of horror logic and incorrectness logic. Horror logic is defined by post condition contains the possible output, and incorrectness logic is defined by post condition contained within the possible output. Therefore, it seems like the possible outputs are very important. If we can somehow express that in a system, uh, then we can probably encode incorrectness logic and whole logic. And in here, in the light of cleaning algebra with tests, possible outputs is simply a codomain of the composition BP, because uh, in the codomain in the sense that everything that can be reached by a certain relation. And when the possible output is smaller than post condition C, that is, codomain of BP is smaller than codomain of C, we get whole logic. Uh, notice we also need to take the codomain of C because in 
clean algebra test conditions are represented using relations. And the codomain of BP that is the possible outputs, if it's larger than the codomain of C, we get incorrectness logic. So in order to um, encode uh, incorrectness logic and whole logic, we need this, a construct that can express codomains. Uh, in concurrent work, uh, the author directly added codomain into the uh, axiomatic system of clean algebra with test, but we choose a different route. Uh, we simply added uh, one top element. Equationally, top element is simply the largest element in the carrier set, and relationally, the top element is interpreted as complete relation on all the possible input and output memories. Here, when we pre-compose the top element with a program P, we're gonna get uh, the top element, uh, the, every possible input related to the codomain of P. Intuitively, the top element was able to normalize domain and the traces of a program and allows us to only focus on comparing the codomain. For example, here we have program P and program Q even though we know uh, P's codomain is larger than Q's codomain, uh, but the program P is not strictly smaller than program Q because there exists a program trace in Q that is not in P. However, when we pre-compose them with top, we get the following program, top P and top Q. In this case, if top P is larger than top Q, then codomain of P uh, will include codomain of Q. Therefore, with this realization and uh, the definition of whole logic and incorrectness, incorrectness logic using codomain, we were able to encode both logic, not just incorrectness logic, uh, in Topcat. And we, we were able to show that Topcat, the equational theory of Topcat, indeed subsume all the proof rules of whole logic and incorrectness logic. However, people notice in uh, Peter's original paper, uh, he mentioned uh, abnormal termination of program. That is a program that will encounter errors. The, uh, however, both TopCat and CAT was not able to express program failure, so it's necessary that we add one more construct in the equational theory, uh, that is failure. Uh, this, you, uh, this one equation set basically says every program that is follows uh, a program failure will have no effect on the program because this, this operation only makes sense because whenever a program encounters a failure, it terminates immediately and never execute anything after it. Relationally, uh, we extend the construction F to Topcat and this is constructed as follow. We basically split the program universe into two parts, the normal parts and the arrow parts. The normal part contains all the, uh, all the program traces that will terminate normally, and arrow part contains all the program traces that will terminate with an arrow. And intuitively, we can think of this as the following uh, cat term. The, ter the pair uh, PQ can be thought of thought as executing P and terminate normally, or executing Q and then fail immediately. And with that, we were able to came up, uh, came up with an encoding of incorrectness logic with error uh, in fail top cat. And we noticed that this encoding is indeed very similar to the encoding of incorrectness logic with top cat in the sense that there only is one added element of epsilon which signifies um, if the program has failed or not. When the program hasn't failed, epsilon will be equal to one, and that will be exactly the same as the incorrectness logic encoded in Topcat. And we have shown the equational theory of uh, Topcat is strong enough to subsume all the proof rules of the incorrectness logic with error. And hopefully at this point I have convinced you that Topcat is indeed very useful and it's worth studying uh, some of the meta theory of Topcat. 
One of the most celebrated results of a clean algebra with tests is that relational cat is complete over cat in the sense that everything that is true uh, with program can be derived using equational theory of uh, cat. However, a uh, previous work has uh, on similar system that contains top has pointed out that this completeness result will now carry over to top cat. Then we identified a general class of relational top cat uh, that is complete over cat, top cat called general relational top cat. Uh, given that this is also a relational top cat and it can be used to model program, it's intuitive to ask if it can uh, also encode uh, incorrectness logic. And turns out it, it cannot, and we have proven an even stronger result that is general relational top cat is exactly equal, uh, equal expressive as relational cat. That is, everything can be um, Everything can be encoded in general relational top cat can already be encoded in relational cat. So that extending relational cat to general relational top cat actually doesn't give us any more expressive power. And because relational cat cannot encode incorrectness logic, general relational top cat also cannot encode incorrectness logic. And finally, we have uh, the decidability result of top cat. Um, top cat's equation is in. Uh, exactly decidable and the complexity is the same as deciding cat equality, that is P-space complete. In summary, our contribution is that we proved that cat equation cannot encode incorrectness logic, and in general, cat equation cannot encode codomain inclusion uh, and the reachability of a certain memory output. Uh, and we were able to encode incorrectness logic and whole logic in top cat and prove that the equational framework of TopCat is strong enough to subsume all the proof rules of incorrectness logic and whole logic. And we also introduced the fell TopCat and extended the construction F to TopCat uh, so that we can construct a fell TopCat from arbitrary TopCat. And we have showed the decidability and uh, uh, completeness of TopCat's system.